Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Pisces, please. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Pisces, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, loves, we're going to do a you versus them. So you, you know, decide what resonates with you, what, which side resonates with your person. So we have the lover's card. Queen of swords. We have the three of cups. We have the nine of wands. We have the ten of swords. We have the four of wands. And the King of Swords. So we have a true pair on the board. They kick to the Queen of Swords. Um, signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Strong Gemini. So, Pisces, I feel like there was a decision between two people and one person had to get cut out. Okay? Um, and I feel that someone is in insanely hurt over this. Someone here feels betrayed. Someone here feels hurt. Someone here felt uh, a very strong soulmate connection, a divinely guided connection. Someone here wanted to get married. Someone here wanted stability. Someone here wanted to have a life with the other person. Um, and I do feel, you know, a true pair here, uh, but it went cold. Okay, so someone here got cut out of the picture. Someone here is in a lot of pain. Someone here is hurting. Could be you, Pisces. Could be your person. I don't know. Um, but someone here really did want forever. And um, this is someone who's suffering at the moment because they feel betrayed. They feel hurt. They feel, you know, th th they weren't chosen. Seven of Swords and the Lovers. Yeah, someone here was cheating, lying, being deceptive. Someone here chose the third party. Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Wands. There was two options. Three of Cups and the King of Swords. Nine of Wands and the Star. Aquarian Energy. Ten of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Four of Wands and the Nine of Cups. King of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, someone here has left the building. What we have here is someone had a choice between two people because someone here was being deceptive, okay? We had a choice between the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. So what I'm seeing here is there was one connection that was hot, spicy, fun, a lot of laughter, and the other connection where someone, you know, the, the connection was obviously going through a hard time, okay? It had become very defensive, you know, you know, when relationships get to that point. Um, and with the King of Swords and the Three of Cups, now, guys, gender doesn't matter here. It doesn't mean that the male went off and cheated. It's just whoever was in their divine masculine um, in that King of Swords energy at that time. Someone here decided to go towards a third party. And with the Star card and the Nine of Wands, this King of Swords knew that in order to pursue what they wanted, um, they would have to hurt someone. So they had to do what they had to do. He spoke his truth. She spoke her truth. Ten of Swords ended something to go move towards a new beginning and have a happily ever after with this third party. This King of Swords has abandoned ship. Someone here has left the building. So Pisces, either you've been abandoned by somebody and you're not taking it well, or um, someone here... Or either you have abandoned somebody and someone's not taking it well, or someone has abandoned you and you're not taking it well. Spirit or clarity, guidance, love messages do we have here for my Pisces? Seven of Swords again. And the Three of Swords. King of Wands, Leo Sagittarius, Aquarian energy here. I think I said Aquarius already. The Magician, Virgo energy, the Ten of Cups, and the Six of Swords. Yeah. 
So this is the person who snuck away. This is the person that was lying, cheating, being deceptive. They they snuck off with the third party. Um, the king to the queen of wands here. So we've got two true pairs on the board. Um, someone, this king of wands decided to go and have this new beginning. Ace of pentacles, ace of pentacles with this queen of wands. Um, I feel that, you know, with the magician and the ten of cups and the six of swords, this king of wands slash king of swords energy has left the building and is pursuing the connection connection with this third party. I mean, plain and simple. Seven of swords and the three of wands. Three of swords and the queen of pentacles. So I feel here that someone was committed. Someone here was cheating and someone here was yearning for the third party. King of wands and the page of swords. Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Yes, yeah, someone here, I feel like this King of Wands came to this realization that this needs to stop, that, you know, something needs to end so that something new can begin. Tower, maybe this King of Swords, yeah, this King of Court Swords spoke his truth, spoke her truth, um, saying, listen, this isn't working, we need to end this. Yeah, we need to end this. Um, you know, there may have been... Uh, some strife, some, comp you know, fighting here over a third party. Someone here didn't take this well. You know what I'm saying? Someone, you know, didn't even see this coming, you know, but I, I feel like someone here is going to get jealous. They're going to get upset. But someone here is speaking their truth, saying, listen, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to go pursue my Ten of Cups. Ace of Wands and the Magician. Ten of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Now, Pisces, you might be the third party. Someone's leaving their person to come towards you. Okay. Um, Pisces, you may, may be the one who is, you know, leaving somebody to go towards a third party. Or you may be the one that's being left here. Six of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. Yes, someone here is leaving to go pursue happily ever after. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Someone here is leaving to go pursue a relationship. Challenge here, Two of Cups, the World, and the Knight of Pentacles, and the Devil, Capricorn Energy. So, this is obviously a relationship ending. Someone here is, uh, someone here has been lying, cheating, giving into temptation, and I feel that, you know, this person is tired of that. They're tired of, you know, uh, the process taking so long. They're tired of, you know, it, it, it taking forever for them to get what they want. They don't want to do this anymore. You know what I'm saying? They've taken more than enough time to make the decision. And I feel like they're making that decision to end it, to pursue what they want to pursue. Tell me, tell me about the outcome, please. The outcome here, please, spirit. What outcome do we see here for my Pisces? The Hanged Man, Piscean Energy, Queen of Cups, more Piscean Energy, could be Cancer or Scorpio, and the Three of Wands, you're still waiting, Pisces. So the person that got left behind, uh, the person that's being abandoned is still waiting, yearning, hoping, wishing that this will come back together. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, someone here is still waiting. So we have your higher self, hidden motivations, and fragmented energy. Yeah, someone here was tired of hiding, tired of keeping secrets, tired of their energy being all over the place because someone here clearly just wanted to leave, okay? And I feel like this person decided to just operate from their higher self, do the right thing, speak their truth and go, even if it meant breaking someone's heart. Yeah, and it's going to cause envy. It's going to cause strife. It's going to cause pain. We saw that with the five of wands under the deck here. It's going to cause a lot of hurt. It's going to cause a lot of pain. And I feel like they know this, but at the same time, um, you know, they, 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 someone's tired of lying. We've got soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I feel that this uh, King of Wands, uh, excuse me, King of Swords, King of Wands energy feels that the third party is their soulmate. They're moving into a higher level of commitment with the third party. Okay. New life. It really sucks to 
uh, say that. It really sucks to, you know, but sometimes some people just need to hear that someone has moved on. Someone has started a whole new life. And I feel like the person that has been left behind is just sitting around waiting, 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 waiting. And if you're the one waiting, Pisces, you need to stop, get dressed, take a shower. I know you haven't showered in like three days. So you're sitting around on your couch, moping around in your robe, and your pajama pants. I get it, you know, but you need to get up, take a shower, brush your teeth, do your hair, shave that beard, do what you got to do, shave your legs if you're a female, and get out there. Breathe some fresh air, okay? Because this person has moved on, they have a new life, they're not coming back, okay? I love you guys. Bye!